Hey guys, welcome to a new YouTube tutorial. So today we're actually going to go over camera movements. So we're going to try create a third person camera um, and we're going to clamp the Y axis and get it working all nice. So... We're going to start off by... Let me explain this project. So I followed <laughs> my own tutorial on a player input actions. Uh, so a link will be in the description if you want to carry on from the exact same point that I'm at now. Um, so aside from that, that's pretty much all I have is I just have my input action set up and inside my player controller script, I've just got everything from that tutorial, which is basically just the movement vector two and the mouse vector two. So that's where I'm going to be starting this tutorial from. Uh, like I said, link in the description if you want to continue from the exact same point. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a cube that's acting as my ground. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a 3D capsule. Uh, that'll just behave as my player for now. Let's move him above the ground. <laughs> I'm going to put him here. There we go. So uh, as soon as I start doing my root motion tutorials, we will change this from a capsule, but because it's only the camera, um, we're just going to leave it for now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a empty inside the capsule, and this is going to behave as our pivot point for our camera. I'm just going to call this camera pivot. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to adjust it uh, to where we want the pivot point for our camera to be. So I'm going to keep it centered, um, except for on the Y. I'm going to move it to whereabouts the player's shoulders would be, which I think will be around about there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the camera, and I'm just going to for now I'm just going to go game object and align with view. So <laughs> this is our third person camera for now. Um, so I'm going to, on the Y rotation, I'm just going to set that to zero. And on the X, I'll set that to zero. So all the rotation is zeroed out. And now I'm going to move my camera to roughly where I'd want it to be on my player. Right there. And then I'm going to do the rotation. So I'm only really going to change the X axis for this. And then make sure you reposition the camera to where you want it. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Obviously we can do a bit of playing around later. And I'm going to put the camera game object inside the pivot. So now if we focus in on the camera pivot, you can see as we rotate that round, it rotates the camera around the pivot we wanted. And up and down. So with the camera rotation script, we're not actually going to be affecting the transform of the camera but more so the transform of the camera pivot. So I'm actually going to rename the pivot to camera controller. Nice and simple. Okay, so what I'm going to do then, I'm also going to create a C-sharp script. Call that camera controller too. And then I'm going to open up my new C-sharp script. Okay, so... What I also want to do is I want to create a few models, um, classes that we're going to use throughout our scripts, but obviously I don't want to spam our scripts with models. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another C sharp script and I'm just going to call it models. Okay. And then inside this script, what we're going to do is we're not going to um, use mono behavior, which is going to be a standalone script, standalone class, and I'm going to make it static. So we can use it throughout our other scripts without creating an in instance. But then all the classes inside here won't be static. Okay, so let's create a region. And we're just going to call this player for now. Okay, and then inside here, I'm going to create a public class for player settings model. If I can spell it. And then inside here, we're going to do all of our settings. So I'm going to create a header. And we're going to go uh, camera settings. Okay, so camera settings is pretty simple. We'll do a public uh, float for sense Activity X and a public 
bool for inverted x. Okay, and then we want to do the exact same thing for the y, so sensitivity y and inverted y. There we go, all nice and simple. So inside our camera controller now, we are going to create a reference and we're going to create an instance of our player settings model. So we'll start with telling the script that we're going to be using the static class so that it knows where the references are. So using static and then the class name. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create an instance of player settings model, which we'll use throughout the script as the settings. So we go public player settings model. And we'll just call that settings. Just like so. Okay, so if we look in the inspector, it's not going to show up and I'll show you why. But first we're going to go to our camera controller, we're going to click and drag our camera controller script onto it. We go onto our capsule and we'll click and drag our player controller script onto that. Okay, now the inspector is all set up. Let me show you how to get our model to show in the inspector. So above the model, what you want to do is you want to add an attribute and just call that system.serializable. So this basically just adds your attribute to serialize this class, um, which is one of the requirements for the inspector to read it. Um, I don't want to have to write system dot every time, so I'm just going to tell um, I'm just going to tell it that I'm using the system throughout this. So just have a using system at the top. Delete all the ones I'm not using, and now I can get rid of this. because I'm using it at the top, I don't need to specify it every time. Okay. Now onto the inspector, we'll see that the setting should now show up. So under camera controller, there we go. Our model has now appeared. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna set these to six, the sensitivity to six. And I'm gonna leave the inverted for now. Um, on our capsule, I'm going to set these to hide an inspector because we don't really need to see those. They're supposed to be read only. Um, we just had it as um, public for the testing. I'm not going to set it to private though, just in case we reference these in other scripts, which is exactly what private stops you from doing. So we'll just hide these in the inspector. So similar to the serialize attribute, we'll just add an attribute to these variables. And it's just called hide an inspector. Unity uses that attribute to obviously um, Hide it in the inspector. Cool. All right, so going back to our character controller, camera controller here. If we go into the script, now we're going to start making it move. So we don't need to reference the game object camera controller because it's the game object that we have our script on. Um, however, I am going to create a reference to our player controller. It's going to say public. <laughs> There we go. And inside Unity, I'm just going to set that. Okay, so on camera controller, let's set our capsule here. And save. Okay, so we got our settings, got our player controller. Let's go ahead and start making things move. 